final destination. Italia versus the United Netherlands. You can see Simmax staying in the back. Kind of charging the limits, but ready to just lunge in if need be. Max is, uh, appears to be very good at uh, getting this stage control and his grabs. But so far, no super interesting combinations from either team. Let's just know that, again, sadly, the shit is getting popped. Because it's so hard. I, it, it's definitely incredibly effective. Definitely one of the best players in the, uh, in the best characters in the game to just go in in doubles and stay safe and not get hit. But you need to be extremely precise and efficient to play that, uh, that role. And right now, Jidenzi already with 100%, while on the other hand, Ixis, by just moving smartly, not a lot of uh, speed dashes or anything, you know? Yeah, he uses it for mobility at times, but it's just intelligent movement. There, like one quarter of the damage he's taken is from Pika for Life's own uh, throw. Mm, dash up smash was probably a dash, uh, dash, dash attack, sorry, was probably a dash up smash. Ooh, that roll, that panicky roll, that's too bad. Jidenzi wasn't ready for the air smash. And this, uh, sorry, underestimated uh, Ixis' uh, dedication to his win. Okay, gets it. Ah, but no follow up again from Jidenzi. You can, you can judge that Sheik when you play a Sheik because um, you need this percent. Like, you get one hit with Sheik, you, you do five or four or eight, you know? Uh, but really. Most of the percent you get is from hitting the enemy back towards your your uh, teammate, who then proceeds to continue the combo. So if you drop the stuff, not only do you miss one hit, but you miss the whole following, like the whole reward of the character is gone. Okay, I think this fell the outer here. Yeah, the I might have been suboptimal, but it was very decent. So. Not sure. Still, very even game for now. Is this going in? Like he's, he's not ready to let uh, C Max charge his limit. So that okay, you you, you want to play the, the cloud typical runaway charge game, uh, but there's no way I'm letting you do that. Not when I play Sonic and I can get in so quickly. A bit sloppy from it's too bad. I think he wanted a, a, a raw back air, but he got a fair instead. Definitely could have got stuck, but this time the fair. Ah, still not it. I'm a liar. Still not the stock. Natalia. Okay, gets the stage control back. Might be able to make something happen. Does not edge got Sonic, obviously. Tries to pressure. But, uh, and I don't know what happened there. I wasn't watching if this was alone at the edge and he dropped his stock. But on the other hand, by some kind of, I don't know, voodoo transmission or something, uh, Pika for Life avoided uh, death after using Down Smash and a shield. Which usually, like it's written in the manual, when you hit a Down Smash, a shield with a Pikachu's Down Smash, you have to lose a star. Very nice conversion uh, from Pika for Life. Very aware of uh, the combo opportunities that uh, Sonic Down Smash offers. And even though Jidanzi uh, got hit a lot and has a lot of percent, and uh, we've seen him lose his stock at the first, uh, at the first talk, he's still hanging on to his life right now. He's not ready to lose the second one, but does drop it when uh, he commits to a down air to try and trick the couple lives. Really, really risky down air, to be honest, because he was between the two uh, red players. So Max choosing to burn his limit very safely. He knows that with one stock left, and Jidanzi uh, still uh, rather fresh in his stock. He should be able to get at least another limit uh, if he really needs it to close the stock. Again, and this time, the GI, uh, I'm not sure if it was down or anything, but probably would have ha wouldn't have uh, helped him. And the down sword to Absnash will this time kill uh, Sim Max. Again, the dash grab. Oh, that could have been it, definitely. But just misplaced on uh, Gidanzi's and Simmax part. The follow up was uh, all set and ready to go. Uh, this is 
super scary for red team. They can definitely make it if uh, if they take G and this stock, and uh, they just have the, after that to force uh, Simax off stage, force him to burn his limit, which would make him much more manageable. But they do need to get rid of the pesky and super safe Sheik and just lunges in. Oh my god, oh, what's going on? <laughs> oh, so much stuff going on right now with the, the grab on the Exis. We definitely could have been the end. Oh, a terrible DI on Simmax part. He jumps off the ledge and gets clipped by the back here. Wow. <laughs> Careful life, really <laughs> saving that, uh, that action with a forward smash after the footstool. Very well, let's see that again. Yeah, I can watch the stream. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. What's happening? Just making sure chat is okay. And we're back. Same stage. Yeah. Well, it did work in their favor, to be honest. Like, uh, blue, uh, red team, I won't say clutch it out, because it wasn't that uh, big of a lead for the blue team, but uh, made it happen. Like, uh, the neutral game was getting more and more in, uh, in blue team's favor. So I can see why they would choose to go back to Final Destination, uh, try and uh, make the same game plan work again. With uh, Simmax able to charge his limit when he can, but uh, mainly just using the pressure that Cloud provides to get grabs and create follow ups. And this time, Jidanzi seems is not ready to be the one to be uh, bullied. And he's getting some nice follow ups. On the other side of the stage, Simmax is not getting gamed as Cloud, which is what you want when you play Cloud. But a music feat, per se. But that's it, you're gone, yeah. Good uh, back throw to his doom. Oh, this is so over, like, oh, very nice waiting on the dodge to get the upper kill. But I, I have to ask him, to be honest, I'm sadly deeply ignorant of uh, some of the stuff. I'm not sure if it was a 50 50 or something. It looked like one, definitely not a, a true combo, obviously. Red Tim is uh, confirming this lead. Taking stuck way easier than the <laughs> blue team is, which is funny to me considering the characters of play. I got some fish, but Sonic should be able to make it back if you don't go pressure him with needle or something like that. Same thing for Pikachu. Uh, definitely, definitely something that might take into account when picking Sheik, even though uh, your game plan in doubles is not to game the other guys, it's always nice to have always nice to have that option and definitely two characters that are very peculiar to Edward, to say the least, with Sheik. Is that uh, Pikachu and Sonic are? See Max still hanging on to his stock, but the limit is gone. Probably got sniped, uh, sniped during the F smash. Gets trapped. That exists unable to confirm it into anything. So it is so huge on Red Team's part. At this point, yeah, Careful Life can just play his uh, patient game. Even in singles, he likes to do that. And, well, obviously, in the optimal way. Uh, if you do get the lead and you can just press the B button, please do. So he's like, okay, I have the lead. Exis is willing to fight. I'm just going to play patiently and wait for them to. Frozen sends into my arm. Uh oh, another follow up? Nope, went for the F throw. He saw that, uh, careful life, saw that Exist wasn't ready to follow up on the throw after using his own up air. Nice one with a down throw, two up smash, choosing to go for the percentage instead of the game attempt. Do approve. Uh, 
so good. She wants to catch up to to careful life. Yeah, could be it. For our friend in blue. The limit need to be it's absolutely crucial that it is landed and it takes a start as early as it can. Don't cut on Sheik to get the early kills. Scoop it, yep, goes for the dash attack sadly, though. Maybe he was afraid of getting hit by Ixis after that, I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention to Ixis' position, but that's too bad. Definitely could have been a stop. But there it is. The RB. Careful life stock is gone, and so is Sim Max's, and it's looking super tough, even though Sheik is able like, to weave in and out and play super slippery. Going to be tough with two extremely mobile characters, and one of them being Pikachu, who actually can combat uh, Sheik when she goes for shot up all the aerials. Yep, that's it, dash attack. Uh, dash up smash, I'm sorry. That's uh, the sad part about Sheik here when you're in a 1 versus 2 situation. You can play super safe, you can play, you can auto cancel your aerial, use needles at full range, you can easily get a grab. The sad thing is, if you do get a grab, what do you do? All your the, all the throws are super laggy, they don't really cover you in terms of uh, adjacent hitboxes or stuff like that. So you're basically leaving yourself wide open. And uh, Pika for Life was more than ready to punish that throw. And so the United Netherlands takes it over the. Italian inv invasion.